My name is Ananias. I have come to see Saul of Tarsus. He hasn't spoken in three days. He won't eat. He won't even drink. I've never seen him like this. I know. Saul of Tarsus, I know you have come to Damascus to persecute the believers. I am Ananias. Jesus came to me in a vision and told me to come to you. You were blind, but Jesus has given you back your sight. has forgiven you, Saul. Please, call me by my Roman name. Paul. Meanwhile, the number of believers grew as the followers of Jesus spread the message. As Simon Peter traveled, he visited a village called Lydda. But Simon Peter, <coughs> Aeneas hasn't been out of that bed in eight years. With Jesus, anything is possible. of Lydda, Jesus Christ has healed you. Get up and walk. How can I ever thank you, Simon Peter? Praise be to Jesus and not to me. And so Simon Peter traveled and preached all his life, spreading the good news to anyone who wanted to hear. Oh? The chief priests were furious when they learned Paul became a follower of Jesus. They sent armed guards to Damascus to find and kill him. Annas and the high priests have heard you've been preaching here uh, about Jesus. Even as we speak, there are armed soldiers fanning through the city looking for you. <sighs> it's okay. Let him in. They blocked the gate of the city so that you cannot leave. I... I have an idea. I know how Paul can escape. Fearing for his life, Paul's friends helped him escape the guarded city by lowering him over the side of the city's wall in a large basket.
leaving Damascus, Paul returned to Jerusalem and then to his home of Tarsus. Here he met Barnabas, and together they embarked on Paul's first missionary journey. They sailed across the Mediterranean Sea to Thessalonica, to the town of Lystra. No one in Lystra had ever heard about Jesus before. When Paul and Barnabas healed a cripple, the people thought they were gods in disguise. Holy are the gods of Olympus! Holy are the gods of Olympus! Holy are the gods of Olympus! You've healed the lame! <laughs> you are surely our own gods, Hermes and Zeus! Come to us in the flesh! No! We are not gods! We've come to bring you the good news so that you may turn from these foolish, dead idols and worship the one God whose son is Jesus. On his second trip, Paul went to Philippi with his friend Silas. There, evil spirits enabled a slave girl to tell the future. When Paul drove the spirits out of the girl, her masters ordered Paul and Silas to be imprisoned. If these men escape, you shall be held personally responsible. <laughs> that night, while Paul and Silas were in prison, an earthquake shook all of Philippi. Suffer this dishonor. Better to die by my own hand. There is no need for that. We're still here. Truly, you are great men. What must I do to be saved? Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved. And so Paul and Silas left Philippi. Silas stayed in Beria, but Paul went on to Athens, spreading the good news to all who would listen. People of Athens! This unknown God you worship can be known to you now. He is the one God who made the heaven and the earth and the sea and all things. Only one God? Your ideas about the gods, uh, about God, interest us scholars. Please come back again to tell us more about Jesus. On Paul's third voyage, he once again sailed across the Mediterranean Sea, visiting Ephesus. The local merchants, particularly one called Demetrius, feared Paul's teachings. I haven't sold one shrine since he arrived. Now he is telling people not to worship our idols. Handmade gods are not God at all. They have no power. Fellow merchants, this business is our livelihood. We are losing money, not just here in Greece, but all over the world. God is not a trinket. Ah. 
I am not concerned about our loss of income, but these... Uh, followers of Jesus deny the importance of the great goddess Artemis. Good people of Ephesus and Greece, this man's not a god. No! He wants to destroy our gods. This man should not be worshipped. He should be killed. Praise the Artemis of the Ephesians! Praise the Artemis of the Ephesians! This man cannot threaten the influence of the great goddess Artemis, whose image fell from heaven! If Demetrius or anyone else has a grievance against this man who has done nothing to defame our blessed goddess, then they may press charges through the usual channels. Paul knew that he would be arrested when he returned to Jerusalem, but he wanted to give the Jews one more chance to accept Jesus as their Messiah. He was arrested by Roman soldiers and sent to Caesarea. Paul of Tarsus, at the request of the Sanhedrin, you are brought before the governor of Caesarea. Governor Festus has decided in his infinite charity to hear your story himself. I have sailed from Troas to Athens, from Ephesus to Corinth. Jesus told his apostles to spread his good news, and I have done so. Blasphemy! Blasphemy! We demand the death of Paul of Tarsus on charges of... Enough! Oh. I... Governor Festus, decide which offenses merit death, and this man's alleged crimes do not warrant bloodshed of any kind. Paul of Tarsus, what say you? Will you be tried by me? I must claim my right as a Roman citizen. I appeal to Caesar! Very well, Paul. Since you have appealed to Caesar, to Caesar you must go. Since Paul had appealed to Caesar, he had to sail to Rome to be judged by the Emperor himself. Late fall and a vicious storm raged for two weeks, day and night. In the storm, most of the cargo had to be thrown overboard to lighten the load. prayed for the safety of everyone on the ship.
God promised me that none of you would be lost at sea. The ship ran aground on a sandbar near the island of Malta, many miles south of Rome. Curious Maltese came to inspect the strangers on their shore. power comes from Jesus. I do these things in his name. Paul stayed in Malta until spring, preaching the good news and healing many people. When spring came, Paul went aboard another ship to continue his voyage to the port of Puteoli in Italy, and then by land to Rome for his trial before Caesar. like to hear what you believe. We know little about these followers of Jesus, except that they are persecuted everywhere. Oh, Please, tell us more. Very interesting. Yes. Paul never was tried by Caesar. He lived happily in Rome for two years, preaching to everyone about the kingdom of God and teaching about the Lord Jesus Christ. of Jesus traveled far and wide spreading the good news. Followers of Jesus like Simon Peter and Paul were persecuted greatly by people who didn't want to hear the good news. 
but the followers stood up for their beliefs, even in the face of death. Their travels and preaching helped sow the seeds of Christianity throughout the world. Their miracles they did in Christ, they healed the sick and lame. They faced the storms and trials of faith, and taught in Jesus' name. Their faith and their conviction inspired benediction. The apostles were the teachers of them all. The apostles were the teachers of them all.